Hi, Techno Bear here. So this week's challenge is all about noise. Um, so I thought rather than, as I've done previously, to do something that was an end game, what I thought I'd actually do is set up some kind of platform to explore noise. Um, so it uses the AE module as the heart of it. Um, and what we're going to do is to run the noise through various uh, filters and resonators to see what kind of different effects we can get. So we're going to start off with the A modular purely. And what I'm going to do for this is actually use um, a filter and also then the multi effects. So let's start that. So the first thing I'm going to do, reduce the filter down and introduce some envelope into it. Now I'm going to use the multi effects to get a kind of almost card plus strong type effect because I'm using a glitch delay. Now I can also affect the balance. Currently I'm taking all the noise but I can actually use a mixer here choose how much low pass, band pass and high pass. And this is going to be a common thing. This is a great thing about module. You get this feeling you can mold and sculpt the sound. Okay, so that was with uh, just the A modular and the simple FX. Now what I'm going to do is very similar. I'm going to have the noise coming through into a uh, this time the Nile filter. And again, I'm going to play with the balances of low pass, high pass, and band pass. And again, I've got an envelope that's changing the pitch of the, uh, the filter. But this time I'm going to use elements as a resonating body. So let's see what we can get with that. Again, very plain sound to start with. Let's take the filter back, get a little bit of envelope. Okay, now we bring in the resonators. Now the resonators are all about allowing them to resonate around. So if we increase the damping, we're gonna get a lot of effect very quickly. And we can change the, the geometry, so what the material that the resonators made out of. Now, if I wasn't exploring noise, what I could now do is to actually change the pitch of the resonator. And that would actually give me, obviously, a string sound that would move around in text. But I'm not going to focus on that today. I'm just pl purely playing with noise and how it resonates and the, just the, the changes, that the changing the filtering and the type of noise that you get in actually alters the resonator. So I'm now going to do a final one, which is with rings. Very similar procedure. This time I'm using the wasp filter. Again, I'm mixing the balance of the high pass, band pass, and low pass. And again, I've got an envelope which is pitching the em changing the cut off on the envelope uh, to again to alter the, the effect. Again, changing the damping, now it's going to really bring in. Okay, so that's the basics. So there's other things I haven't changed here. I haven't done modulation. I haven't altered the envelope of the exciter or anything. Um, so there's lots of other things to play with. But what I thought I'd do is I've now spent a little bit of time just getting some sounds together that I like and something. So I thought I'd just kind of do a bit of modulation and, and to see how we can kind of all bind that together. So let's have a go at that. Mm -hmm. 
This is what I love about modules, as I said. It's the ability to actually be able to um, sculpt the sound in different ways. Um, I didn't even, I say I set this up more as a, as a tool to explore. Um, I didn't play with any pitching, uh, which obviously we can actually make melodies then. Um, also the elements and rings have exciters, but actually what's nice about doing it like this is that you can obviously get more control over how the exciter comes into it, so whether or not you're filtering, etc. Anyway, um, I thought we'd just explore a little bit. Um, I hope that was interesting, and um, see you next time.